Hi Kindergarten! Today we are going to continue learning about seasons and the weather with today's lesson, which is called Safety in Storms. So we're going to learn a lot of very important information. Remember, it is March and today is Thursday, March 4th. So that means we're still in the beginning of March, so we're still in winter time. But don't worry, pretty soon we're going to be in spring. Our first vocabulary word is gear. Gear is a specific type of clothing or tools that are needed for a particular reason. So rain gear like this would include rubber boots or a raincoat, something to keep you dry. Severe means very bad. So a severe rainstorm would look like this where there was just a ton of rain that comes down really hard. That's called severe. Our next word is shelter. Shelter is a place that offers protection from bad weather or danger. So you might take shelter indoors or underneath an umbrella or underneath a bridge, wherever you can find shelter. Okay, and our next word is strike. Now, to strike means a sharp and sudden blow. So a lightning strike is if lightning hit something in a really sharp way. And sometimes that can cause a fire, so you have to be pretty careful. All right, so we've learned about a lot of different types of weather. We've learned about sunny weather, cloudy weather, windy weather, rainy weather, stormy weather. Each type of weather and in general, all of the different seasons have a lot of different activities you can do in them. You might act differently on a sunny day than you would on a rainy day. When it's snowing in the winter, you can have a snowball fight, but you can't do that in the summertime. So when the weather is nice, people usually like to be outside. But when the weather is not so nice, people tend to stay indoors where it's safe and dry. We also need to keep in mind the word safe and safety, right? These words can mean being careful or protected from danger. So when you think about weather and safety, what do you think about? Hmm. Well, I'm going to name some types of weather that can be kind of unpleasant or maybe even dangerous, like a thunderstorm. What comes in mind, to mind when you think of a thunderstorm? Hmm. Maybe staying inside? Maybe you want to make sure you're in a place that's nice and warm? In the read aloud today, Annie is going to be talking about what you can do to stay safe during a thunderstorm. Listen carefully for what you should do next time you come up to a thunderstorm or stormy weather in general. All right. Dear kindergartners, have you ever seen a thunderstorm? I got caught in one the other day and it made me realize just how amazing and powerful the weather can be. Thunder boomed and lightning flashed. It was quite a show. Today I'm going to tell you about severe or really bad weather and how to stay safe during thunderstorms. You probably know what kind of weather to expect when you look up and see large, dark clouds like these in the sky. These are storm clouds, and unless you want to get soaked, so you want to get wet by the rain, it's time to get indoors when you see a storm like this. During a thunderstorm, you can see lightning. Lightning is a stroke of electricity that connects energy in the ground with energy in a cloud. Sometimes you can see a bolt of lightning when it flashes and zigzags in the sky. Lightning is often followed by a loud clap of thunder. If the thunderstorm is far away, then the thunder may only sound like a distant rumble. But as the storm nears, the thunder gets louder and louder, and the time between lightning and thunder gets shorter and shorter. Thunder cannot hurt you, but lightning can be dangerous if you're not careful. A lightning strike or sudden sharp blow knocked down this tree. Lightning can start fires too. Worst of all, lightning can seriously injure or hurt a person. There's a very, very small, small, small chance of being struck by lightning, but it can happen. Fortunately, there are simple ways to be safe from lightning during a storm. My teachers taught them to me, and now I'm going to teach them to you. Lightning tends to strike or hit with a sudden blow. Tall things like trees and tall buildings. The smartest thing you can do in a storm is stay inside. If you can't take cover in a building, then a car is a safe place too. In case you ever get stuck outside in a thunderstorm and you can't get indoors, 
it's important that you remember to never take shelter or look for protection under or near a tree or a tall object. Even though the tree leaves might help to keep you dry, you don't want to be near a tree if it gets struck by lightning. Instead, you should lie down on the ground far away from any trees and wait for the storm to pass. You'll get drenched, but you won't get struck by lightning or get hurt by a tree. Another important rule is always to get out of a pool, lake, river, or ocean during a thunderstorm. Electricity moves through water, so anyone in the water could be hurt by a lightning strike. It's best to be safe and dry inside during a thunderstorm. And I don't know about you, but I don't really want to go swimming if it's raining outside anyways. When it's cold outside, you might see hail during a storm. This has been happening sometimes lately in D.C. During a hailstorm, chunks of ice called hailstones fall from the clouds onto the ground. Usually, hailstones are small, about the size of peas or smaller. Sometimes, however, hailstones can be as big as golf balls or even a baseball. It's always best to stay indoors during a hailstorm. Wow. Wow. It's important to know how to stay safe during storms and other kinds of severe weather. If possible, don't go outside at all in any kind of storm. If you have to go outside, wear the right kind of gear, so specific clothing needed for specific purposes, like a raincoat, rain boots, or a hat during rainstorms. Be smart and be safe so you can enjoy the amazing power of nature. It's quite the show. Your friend, Annie. All right, kindergarten, you can go ahead and click on the exit ticket below.